Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. Um, so the update just dropped, so I decided to just make this make this video. Um, man, I look super nerdy with these on, but my, my eyes are like killing me, so I'm gonna have to keep them on for this video. But welcome to to a channel update. Um, yeah, I didn't make one today. I made a monster spotlight video, but I I guess it's a pretty good uh, pretty good chance to also make another um, you know update video since the 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 uh, the new patch just dropped. So we're gonna take a look at the new monsters first. Um, you know the actual monsters in game and wait oh shit I forgot <laughs> I forgot there's no astro guy button there anymore. It's kind of it's kind of annoying, but um, it is what it is. Actually, we should take a look at this uh, Pinelo monster first. Actually, I'll take it. Take a look at it later. We'll take a look at the Nat Fives. So this is the Belrona. Um, she looks like some some demon monster thing. Um, this is her evil three form. All right. So the the fire one has is balance type has pretty. Like pretty good stats, I think, um, for for just balanced monsters. Um, just HP siphon and elemental edge. She also has a global like attack power increase. This is, I think, this is the only Nat Five that has has something like this. Um, a lot of the other Nat Fives, their leader skills are limited to to like something. So like this one, it only works in Astromon League. This one only works in dungeons. Um, you know, this one only works in Astromon League. This one only works in, you know, Astromon League as well. Um, this one only in Dungeons, and then this one only in Dungeons as well. So she's the only one that has a global attack leader skill that's superior to the four stars. Um, I think this alone makes makes the Belronas quite good. Just any of the elements, just if you can get any of them as a variant. Um, so she has HP Siphon, Elemental Edge. Uh, she's a fire monster. I think this is really good for B9 if you wanna, um, if you happen to pull her, you can probably use her for B9 since she's able to. She's a self-sustained nuker and she's able to. Well, I guess Elemental Edge doesn't really work. Like doesn't really matter on B9. Like so, this is kind of wasted. Um, but you can also use her for like B8 and stuff, and, and this way you can have Elemental Edge. So it's kind of like. You know, a stronger version of uh, using like the firewall thing or something like that. Um, all right, let's take a look at the the water one. Um, we'll take a look look at their stats first, because since we we can look at stats now, I think this is a pretty good idea. So she has three thousand five hundred attack. This is quite high, um, even compared to a lot of the nat other nat fives. Actually, no, the a lot of the attacker type nat fives have pretty pretty damn high attack. Um, but if you it's it's Around average, I think, 3,500s. Definitely um, a little bit on the higher side, I think. Um, so slightly above average. And she has Courageous Strike and Defense Down. I honestly don't know how good this skill is, because I, I don't re really have any monsters that have Courageous Strike. Um, but I guess this is mostly used for, for, for the raid boss, you know, for the clan battle raid boss. Um, and she also has Armor Break. And yeah, she's just a... She's just a good attacker. Like any attacker with defense down is is just really good. Um, although I don't think Courageous Strike is really useful anywhere outside the 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 raid boss. So that's kind of you know she's she's not going to be able to you're not going to be able to use her everywhere. But I think she's definitely going to be pretty good for clan battles. Um, yeah, let's look, take a look at the wood one. See her stats. So the wood is a defender type. Um, she has 3,400 defense, so this is this is actually quite high. Um, she has pretty slightly higher, like above, uh, you know, for for defender type monsters, like the, the tanky type, tankier type monsters um, that aren't HP type. Um, they, you know, this is a little bit on the higher side, and her attack, I think, for a defender is pretty high as well. So um, it's definitely pretty good. But then again, a lot of you guys aren't. Aren't probably aren't gonna be able to get her to to max level. I mean, I, I won't be able to get her to max level if I get one or or evil three. I mean, um, if I get one. Um, so she has morale boost and seal. You you guys kind of know how I feel about morale boost. I I really really like this skill. I think it's really good for like farming and anything in general. It just makes runs um, faster and stuff. I I favor a lot of uh, morale boost monsters. 
So I think you can... I, I mean, you know, she's not an attacker type, um, but she is a nat 5, so her... Actually, no, it's, it's not going to work. Morobu's seal, I mean... You can probably build her tanky and then just use seal for arena. I think that's kind of probably her be best use. Um, you could also use her B7 and stuff and just build her hybrid. I mean, just treat her like she's a she's a uh, utility monster, you know. And then and then she can she can do that. It's, it's kind of unfortunate that she's not an attacker. If she was an attacker, then she'd be a really great farmer because this morale boost makes sure that you're, she's able to spam her AOE over and over. Um, that's a little bit unfortunate. Alright, so this is the light one, and she's a balance type. Um, so she's has slightly higher attack. Actually, wait, no. Slightly lower attack compared to the fire one, right? Yeah, she has slightly lower attack, um, but higher base HP, I think. I think the HP is where the real difference is. Um, this HP pool is quite high for balance type. She also has pretty high defense. So she's a little bit uh, higher on the on the defensive side, and she has shock. Oh shit! She has a hundred percent shock. Grants one hundred percent chance to shock. Yeah, she has a hundred percent shock. An elemental edge. All right, this is this monster is really strong. This is she is really good. Um, I mean, but it's hard to get her to like to. To get her to like max level, so I'm not I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, this is definitely really good. Um, she's gonna be she's gonna be hitting quite hard, and she's also quite tanky. So you can just basically build her a hybrid, and just use her for her her utility. Um, basically, that's that's she's she's pretty good. Um, all right, so this is the dark one. She's a tank type monster. This is very very high HP. Um, yeah, this is definitely quite high, but compared to a lot of the other like tank, uh, tank type, you know, dark monsters, it's not like super super high. Um, actually, no, it's 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 really high. Like this is almost 50k. Um, so she's really really tanky, but her other stats are kind of lacking. But it doesn't really matter. Um, oh wait, she has Morobu's adrenaline. So she basically wait, she has a, she has a, um, team morale boost, twenty percent, and she has. So she's this is kind of like the a stronger version of the Dark Heroes first skill, and then she also has Adrenaline, which restores allies HP. Um, so this is like the Water Nightmares uh second skill. Yeah, I think this is quite good because she's basically. Yeah, you just build her, you just stack HP on her, and she's going to be able to provide lots of utility because um, she's going to be really tanky, right? So you don't have to worry about her dying, and she's going to be able to boost the boost the SP bar of your whole entire team whenever she attacks. And then when she gets a full bar, she does her her, her AOE, and um, basically everyone gets healed back to full with how high her her HP pool is. But again, uh, you guys ha kind of have to keep in mind that Nat 5 monsters are really, really hard to get to Evil 3. So at most, like most people, even if you summon her, um, you know, probably only be able to gleam her and get her to Evil 2 and stuff. But you know, if you can get her to Evil 3, I think it's definitely going to be really, really sick. Um, all right. So the other new monster um, is a, is the Thor. So the Thor. I actually thought the Thor would be a nat 5, but it turns out that the Thors are... Actually, no, it, it kind of makes sense that Thor is nat 5, because since Odin's are... are or, it kind of makes sense that Thors are nat 4, since since Odin is, uh... Odin is, uh... is nat 5. And then the Lokis are nat 4s. But it doesn't actually quite make sense for Lokis to be nat 4s. If you if you talk about it in the sense of like uh, actual actual Norse mythology, like Loki and or Odin are actually on the same like level. It's only like in, in in Marvel and shit that they made Loki like you know um, Thor's brother and stuff. But he's actually supposed to be like on on par with Odin, um, you know, in, in in mythology. But we're that's I'm 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 digressing. We, we can just take a look at look at the Thor. Um, so he is a 
He's a defender type. Um, his stats aren't really all that high, but then then again for a Nat 4, it's, it's not that bad. Actually, no, compared to some other Nat 4s, like defender type, this is this is quite low, to be honest. Um, she hasn't glo He has a global uh, defense skill, so this is, this is pretty good. Um, but And two defense down, 70% for two turns. This one for two turns. This AoE one, only a 50% chance. But I guess it's the, the chance kind of went to his first skill, since his first skill has a 70% chance for two turns. Um, so I think for utility, he's definitely alright. Um, you can just kind of build him somewhat tanky. His stats are really low, though. It's 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 quite weird. Um, you know, it's only three thousand for a defender type, or maybe I'm just my my expectations are too high. All right, so this guy's a attacker type. Um, he he has three K attack, which is pretty decent for Nat four. Um, his defense and HP are both super super low, so he's basically he's basically a glass cannon. Um, he has morale boost predator. I think you can use him as a farmer, like just basically use him to farm, um, and that's it. That's 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 all he's gonna be used for. Just use him as a farmer. Um, what about this one. Right, this this guy's balance type. He actually has his stats are all right. They're they're pretty they're pretty balanced. Um, courageous strike blind. So he's a uh, he's gonna be. Oh, he has courageous strike and 100% blind. All right, I think he's this one's probably the best Thor. Um, because you can use him for for clan battles. Like he his skill set's perfect for clan battles. It's just unfortunate that he's balance type. And not actually no. Courageous Strike, it doesn't matter. You can build him hybrid and he, he'll just uh actually I don't know how to how to do clan battles, so I I, I won't give any recommendations. Then again I, I kinda think clan battles on, on the lowest priority. So it's kinda between these two, because you can use a water one to farm and farming might be um more useful for mo most people. So this guy's got a 60% sh shock and defense down. He's a tank type. All right, this is this is more like it. His, his HP is pretty high. Um, everything else is super super low, so kind of have to build him full tank and just really use him for utility. Um, but then again, he has shock, you know, which is a CC plus armor break, so it's pretty good. All right, this 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 is defense down, courageous strike. It's a hundred percent defense break. All right, this is definitely best Thor. Yeah, this is it. Uh, this is like all right. This this monster would be ideal um, if I could if I could get a if I could could like I actually want this monster. I actually want this door. Like to be honest, I I really do want this this door. Um, the reason is is a hundred percent armor break and 2800 um, base attack plus he's a dark monster um, so you, you guys kinda know where I'm going with this I, I kinda want him like if I if I can get him I, I'd use him for Dragon Speed 10 for 100% armor break um, he's probably the best 100% armor breaker like on, on first skill 100% armor break on first skill um, in the game I think Yeah, he he's probably uh probably one of the best. Um, all right, so that that concludes the Thor thing. We should probably look at look at the Pinocchios. There, I think there are three star monsters, three star wood monsters. There's also a light and dark type. All right, so they they have courageous strike on both their skills, but what about stats? I don't know. Three star monsters have pretty low pretty low base stats. I'm not really sure how good Courageous Strike is. I, I've never tested it out, and I I don't think I really want to. Um, <laughs> you know. All right, this this guy's got Adrenaline Blind. Um, 
Yeah, he's only a nat too. I don't think these monsters are really usable. They're they're kind of pretty much just used for fusion. Um, but there's also a new rebirth monster out. There's the the monkeys. So this is holy shit. He's got hunter and blind. Wait, monkey's got hunter and blind. He's balance type. His stats are pretty good. Like they're actually no. The recovery is too high. I don't know. Yeah, it's it, his, his stats not that good. Um, but he does have hunter. 100% chance to blind. I guess you can use him for a raid boss. He's not. He's not that good. He's 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 okay. Um, but the monkeys do have fighting spirit, which is you know global attack leader, which is really useful. So you know, that, that's 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 pretty good news. Um, the dark monkey, I I've already I kind of already know about him. Um, he is a defense aggressor with 100% defense down on, on second skill. Monkeys are single target, so they, they do hit quite hard. Um, yeah, he's a, he's just in a, he's, he's got aggression, armor break, um, he's also got that nice, uh, nice, uh, attack leader, you know, so, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll probably get him, and I'll temporarily use him for my my B10 team for for dragons and just replace the dark sea star with him because he he has potential to to uh to do more damage than the dark sea star you know I'm probably gonna build him hybrid actually I'm not gonna build him as a full aggressor because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna use his his uh variant skill and uh you know his second skill which is like a single target to to hit the dragon a little bit harder and then I can. Yeah, I'm basically I'm gonna I'm gonna stack that together, and use his attack leader, and then you know to boost my my whole entire team's attack, and then we can do some crazy crazy damage against the boss. Um, I don't know if it's gonna backfire if I if I put attack instead of aggression, if instead of defense on him. But I mean, this makes it so like I can gem one slot defense and still have decent damage, you know. I really just need him to survive. Oh wait, but the problem is his low. His, he's got low base attack. All right, that that might not actually work that well. I mean, I could gem double two slot defense, and then just use his first skill against the boss. That might possibly be better. I'm not too sure. Like, you know, since the way his stat is, like, even if I gem one slot attack. His first skill might still hit harder than his second second skill, but I'm not too sure because um, single target skills hit really damn hard. So, and he's also dark type, so I'm I'm not I'm not sure if it's gonna it's gonna do enough damage. Um, but you, I do need him tanky enough to survive against the the light Persephone. Um, so I guess there, I don't I don't really have any problems with his stat stat distribution. It's still pretty good. Um. Yes, that is that is pretty much it. All right, so the new monsters are out, but they're not really out yet. Like the the event is kind of underway. Um, the Venus is still in the rebirth shop for another eight hours. The rebirth list hasn't refreshed, so I still have a chance to get that light Medusa. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try for it. I'm just gonna farm as hard as I can, and uh, yeah, that's I think that's pretty much it. The Heroes Festival is out, so summon rates are up. Um, I think they they take rotation. I might do it during the nightmare thing. Like I might I might do try try once during the, the nightmare thing, and maybe maybe I'll get one. But I, I don't have a lot of astro gems. I think I uh, what I can do is I can I can do the do the variant thing, and then. Like I can raise some random two-star, three-star variants into. I mean, I, I have a little bit of gold, but not like that much gold. Um, you know, raise some random two-star, three-star variants, and then collect the astro gems from that. And then this way, I can I can get a little bit of astro gems. So I I think I should spend like I should I should invest my current astro gems into Golden's V10. Um, sell most of the, the the gems that I get from Golden's V10 and and. Uh, you know, 
level variants, and then I can get more astrogens after that. Um, All right, all right. I think that's I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's not really all that all that much to review anymore. There's a fake one. There's a fake uh fake Pinocchio. Wait, there's a dark one as well. Oh, the dark one's a double hunter. What the hell? Wait, what? Wait, are are you are you kidding me? Wait, how high is his attack? Damn, even if I max him out at level 60 max level, he only has 1,000 attack. Even with Hunter 100% extra crit damage, um, and with him being dark, it's still not going to do that much damage. It's kind of sad. It's kind of it's kind of sad how the how the two stars in the game aren't aren't even usable. You know. Actually, no. Some of these two stars have pretty pretty good stats. I mean, if he had like the same amount of HP and attack and everything. Or not HP, HP defense and recovery, but had like 2,500 attack or something. He he'd be a, he'd still be a good monster, you know. Um, all right, it's a it's a. I think I think it's a prank. It's all part of a an, an elaborate prank by the developers. All right, so. Yeah, that's. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think. I think the. the yeah, the, the eggs aren't in the shop. Um, you basically you get those eggs just by. By uh by by summoning and stuff. Um, I should probably purchase my weekly gleam since I. I think I'm collecting the wood one, right? Probably should buy it before in case I forget. All right, in case I forget. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be waiting until the nightmare thing is out. Um, it's gonna be on. Oh wait, no, it's the Heroes Festival. Oh no, I shouldn't wait for the nightmare. I thought, I thought that uh, I thought the Heroes Festival had like a higher chance for the nightmare or something like that. I thought it was part of the same event. So it only lasts for. It only lasts for two more days, or or three days. Um. Yeah, this only lasts three days, so I, I, I guess, I guess I'll try to do the summon once or twice if I can, um, and maybe I'll get a nat five. I don't know if it's worth it though. Like it's not. I mean, even if I get a nat five, even if I get a nat five, get an egg that gets me, gets me another nat five. Those monsters aren't really going to be used. I mean. Um, I can't really max out a lot of my nat fives. If I get one of the Bel Belronas, I'm not too sure what I what I'd use them for. Like if I get this water one, I'm probably not gonna use her much. Um, fire one probably is more ideal. But then again, I probably still won't use her. I, I don't really know. I don't I don't really need any any nat fives. I just need another nightmare. That's that's really all I want. Um, but yeah, it's not even guaranteed. So now I'm not too sure. All right, we're gonna wait five hours, and then after the five hours, I'll do I'll start doing my rebirth again, and then um, you know one last day, last final chance for that for that Medusa. So for now, I'm basically just going to be farming golems because I want to make as much gold as I can so I can use that those goals to level level some variants and um, yeah and level up unfortunately I can't really use her I don't really have any other monsters to pair with her for for golems b10 so I'm pretty much back to just using these monsters I mean this team is super solid it's like it's like so stable that nobody ever dies relatively fast because they're all aggressors. I think the all aggressor B10 comp is definitely the best comp. I'm so happy they released the the Dark July. Like she's she's such a such an awesome monster. It's just so great. Like um 
Like, even though she doesn't heal as much as the Dark Jack, she hits harder with her second skill. Because the Dark Jack has, has Sap, and she has Aggression, which is, like, better. Because, uh, you know, I use my Dark Sea Star to crit rate. Her gems have a little bit of crit rate. And she's dark, so she has that extra crit damage. Um, so she's hitting pretty damn hard. Just, just, just watch her do her AoE, alright? It didn't, it didn't crit. Um, you know, her crit rate's not that high. It's only, like, 30%. But with the Dark Sea Star pushing it, it's, like, 40%. Um, you know, so she's, she's definitely pretty good. I'm about to pass out actually. I'm, like it's 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 near my sleeping time. I, I kind of changed my schedule around. Right now it's like sleeping time. See, she's critting like 4,800 a hit. It's pretty good. I think the most ideal way to build her is like triple HP with like as much crit rate subs as possible. She hit like a truck. I'm kind of not sure how to build the Dark Monkey. I mean, the standard way to build him would just be crit rate, double defense. Um, but I'm thinking maybe for Golem's B10, I want to put one slot attack on him. It really depends on how hard his second skill scales. Because if, if it scales really hard, even with his low attack, um, you know, since he's dark and ha has that attack leader, he can still hit pretty hard with his second skill. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just my just my hypothesis, just my prediction. I'm so sad those damn Pinocchios are only two stars. If there were three stars I could use them for uh for rebirth. Oh yeah, if I get the Dark Monkey, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in this this comp. I'll probably. Probably run him instead of uh, instead of the Dark Miho. Cause if I had armor break against this boss, it would be it'd be just ten times faster. Dang, I wish his uh the the monkey's uh two skills were reversed. Like if he had a hundred percent armor break on first skill, and uh. And aggression on his second skill would be if he he'd be like the perfect monster. Because there, there's no single target aggressor in the game, I don't think. Yeah, there's no single target nuker aggressor in the game. He'd be the first. But unfortunately, um, you know his his skills aren't like that. Yeah, this comp's super fast. It's just well, it's not super fast, but it's like decent it's like three minutes it's, it's crazy stable it's like nobody dies <laughs> not a single monster ever dies um feel like it's a little bit too stable but, i mean i can't really get any better like i i mean i could put like a bunch of light monsters to nuke and stuff but i'm not sure how stable that is I mean, I'm never gonna know until I have my gems to build up my light snowy and that, and collect enough Julys to get my light light July to evil three. Um, I'm still working on that, but I think for now this is pretty good. Dark Cupid's too strong. I I can't replace him with anything. Like I I want to take him out and like I want to take out an active healer so bad, but he's he's just so good, you know. He's got, he's got damage, he's got, he's tanky, like he does good damage, he's tanky, and he's got a heal, and he's got a shield that scales with his max HP, and he's got crazy high max HP, so I, I, I really don't know how I can, how I can replace him. But I probably take out. I'm not sure if I want to take out the Miho. The Miho has pretty damn good stats too. But I can't take out the C Star. 
I, I don't think I can take out the July. If, if I take out the July, the team won't be as stable. So I, I'm not sure if I who I can replace with a monkey. Probably the Miho, but she has really, really good gems. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. I'm about to pass. I'm I'm seriously about to pass out. All right, that's that's the end of the video. I um, just wanted to you know share my share a few runs you know, with with you guys and yeah that's that's pretty much it um so the update's not live but tomorrow i'll be able to do the rebirths and everything and you guys can yeah you guys can uh you can see my final attempt see if i can get a light medusa i don't know if i can wait is it the heroes festival yet no it starts on the 30th that's it's kind of unfortunate. If it started earlier, I, I, I could use like six hundred astrogens to to summon, do two more rebirths. Kind of feels like a waste. I feel like I I don't have a lot of astrogems because I've been farming golems so hard. I've been farming golems really really hard. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, I'll 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 end this here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And wait, we're we're we'll finish this one, and you can you guys can see what it what this golem drops. I don't know, I, I'd i be curious. I'd be curious if I was you, you know? Aggression is definitely the way to go for B10. It's just, if you want a stable team, you just gotta stack aggressors. Of every, every aggressor you can have in the game. Hmm. Alright, let's see what gem I get. It's a... Oh, it's a shitty 4-star gem. My favorite. Alright, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.